All right, guys, it's been well over a month since I started that nettle fertilizer experiment. So I wanna show you the results uh, and let you see for yourself uh, how well or how bad it worked. So we'll get right to it. Now, if you recall from the first video, when I showed the plants before I applied the nettle fertilizer, this pepper was um, really small and really yellow and now it does have some fresh new darker green growth on top but I'm not really seeing the results I had hoped for it's still alive but at this point there's uh, no peppers on it it does have a little flower bud right there so it may start producing and this one was a little bit weak and I'm not really seeing uh, any improvement, any great improvement, I should say. Now, what I've done is I applied the nettle fertilizer like I um, showed in the video at that strength two different times at two week, interval, two week intervals and then at one week intervals I applied it at double that strength and now it's been about a week or two weeks since I put the last application on there it's been about one week just want to give you an idea of how it's went and how much of the fertilizer I've used but these are the peppers that I was treating with it now down here was another really weak one and it's still looking pretty weak I mean they did they did get some new dark green growth on the tops but I'm not really seeing any more growth out of it now this is the bed that of peppers that was already doing good and it's still doing good I've got uh, Trinidad scorpion the calico peppers cherry bombs habaneros and then these are uh, red sweet bell peppers another thing I did is I didn't show it in the other video but this tomato plant which is a garden peach was looking pretty sickly and that's most likely because I didn't stake it when you don't stake your tomatoes they tend to get these yellow leaves. I don't know what that's called. It's some kind of fungus or something that gets on them from the dirt splashing up on the leaves. And uh, I kind of had hoped that nettle fertilizer might uh, help cure it, but uh, it really didn't do anything for it. I didn't show this in the video, but this row is uh, kind of weak as well. So I started. I put uh, one or two applications on these tomatoes and they maybe have improved slightly but you can still see that they have lots of dead dry leaves on them from that mold or whatever it is that gets on them from the soil. And we'll go on down here to the tomatoes that I said I was going to fertilize in the video and that's this row right here. I went ahead and fertilized the borage or borage, the basil, and the thyme with it as well. This is thyme right here. Now these were already doing pretty good. I did notice a big improvement in the barrage after I started using the nettle fertilizer though, so that's a definite plus. And these tomatoes seem to have improved a little bit, but still not near as good as I'd like that's mainly because I didn't stake them and I didn't sucker off I didn't remove the suckers or anything but they do have some tomatoes on them There's another nice tomato right there a few here and going down a little further I said I was going to fertilize this whole east row with the nettle fertilizer and let me stand back just a little bit here. I'm going to 
to see if you can see any difference in the growth or anything from a distance. So basically, this would be the row that I fertilized, what my fingers are covering up. And do you see any difference in height or anything? I don't really see any difference myself. Now this video isn't meant to promote using nettle fertilizer or knock it, it's just showing the results after about a month and a half of use. I kind of hoped it would improve my melons uh, that are growing in the three sisters here, but they're kind of doomed from the start. It was a, I'm thinking it's just a bad season for melons and squash and cucumbers in general because none of my none of that stuff did good this year. See the corn is starting to produce. <clears throat> and really though the corn that's back in there that didn't get no fertilizer is producing. This here is Indian corn that Douglas Christie sent me. And you can see it's well over my head it's probably about seven eight feet tall so that's pretty cool i'm gonna try and uh, step through the melon beds here it's kind of a bit of a maze getting through this garden now that everything's grown up now i did go ahead and fertilize this bed of melons because I have uh, oh no I apologize I have one two three four beds of melons and I fertilized the second row and um, actually these melons look better than all the other ones and well there was a little watermelon growing here but uh, it's gone now so I guess I can't show you that oh here it is Actually, this is another one, another a little sugar baby watermelon just getting started. So out of all the melons and squash and cucumbers I grew, the only bed that's producing any fruit at all is the one that I fertilized with the nettle fertilizer. Uh, and it's really not doing that great, but it is what it is. Now, so that there was the Indian corn bed. And this here is that bantam corn bed with the three sisters beans and squash that I showed in the video where I did the three sisters garden that's what this is again this corn is a little bit taller on average than the Indian corn but it's probably about six seven eight feet tall and it's producing ears here's one that's probably getting pretty close to ready the silk is all dried up on there. I'll probably, I'm probably gonna check a few of these. I want to leave them alone though until I'm sure. But the corn itself is looking good. The beans, uh, they definitely improved um, because, I mean, as you can see, the beans are growing all the way up. The corn, here's one that would be growing all the way up, but it kind of got knocked over by the wind. And I should mention that. Uh, it's kind of rough doing this experiment and trying to compare it to a prior year or something like that because there's always variables and the big variable this year was the weather we had a lot of cool unseasonably cool weather then we had some really hot spells we had a, a tremendous amount of rain and we also had some really severe storms with lots of heavy hard rain and even some uh, hail that was probably close to the size of a quarter pretty big hail that came in and the wind and everything just pummeled this corn and knocked it flat flat down to the ground three different times and it still managed to uh, grow back I mean you can see here there's where I planted the corn and this corn stalk runs way over here three feet and then finally starts crawling back up again because it's been beat down three times by the weather. So keep that in mind. I went ahead and I fertilized the uh, okra and nasturtium bed with that nettle fertilizer as well and the okra really took off. I mean it's still 
not very big but uh, it's starting to produce and the nasturtiums I think it kind of killed them off because I've only got one left and it's pretty weak it had a flower on it but the flower's gone now and uh, I had two big rows of nasturtiums all the way down through here in between the okra and I see there's one here one here and one right there that's all that's left oh there's another one over in there but they're so small you can't even really can't even spot them but nasturtiums they kind of like poor soil and they kind of like being in a deprived state so that might be why they died off is because I treated them too good now this is the last row this was unfertilized here I've got a bunch of beans climbing up the uh, corn stalk and some corn that's probably getting pretty close that was unfertilized and this one here was fertilized this one's got some beans on it they're kind of getting ate up but I mean all in all I mean this was fertilized and you can see there's some really nice beans on this now there was beans all over in here but I went through the other day and harvested them but all in all I would say I'm not really seeing any difference between the stuff that was fertilized with the nettle fertilizer and the stuff that wasn't. <clears throat> I mean the main differences I see are the nasturtiums died. Uh, whether that was because of the nettle fertilizer or not I don't know. The okra improved and everything else kind of just stayed the same. It didn't hurt it or help it as far as I can see I even went through and I started using it to fertilize all my little cucumbers that were growing in these sunflowers hoping that I might get them some nourishment but they're just too shaded by all these big sunflowers to be able to produce anything these sunflowers are well I got a couple here that are probably 12 feet tall that one's at least 12 feet tall. It's twice as tall as me. I think that's going to wrap it up. I, I wanted to uh, do an update on the nettle fertilizer and uh, compare it to the areas of the garden that weren't fertilized. And I mean, you can see the results. Um, not to say I won't use the nettle fertilizer in the future but um, compared to fish fertilizer um, I think the fish fertilizer is much better um, at least in my experience and like I said there's a lot of variables we had a lot of storms this year that set the garden back but uh, just based on what I know and what I've seen the fish fertilizer definitely works better for the peppers anyway I saw immediate improvement on the peppers last year when I started using the fish fertilizer on them and uh, fish fertilizer is another organic fertilizer similar to nettle um, it doesn't have all the micronutrients that nettle has but um, it's made the same way you just take fish parts throw them in a bucket fill it up with water and let it rot and you got fish fertilizer and that's the way I made the nettle fertilizer so that's it I mean it's a natural fertilizer it's organic it's free, it's easy to make, it's easy to gather. Um, there's really nothing to it. And um, I don't know, I'll let you guys decide for yourself. I kind of was waiting, hoping that I'd see some big improvement in the, the fruiting of the vegetables. But when you think about it, nettle fertilizer is mostly just nitrogen. Um, there's really not enough of the P and K potassium and phosphorus in there to uh, provide the plants with what they need for root development and fruiting and uh, disease resistance things along that line but uh, I don't know <laughs> don't know what else to say and I don't want to keep saying but uh so 
I'm just going to leave it at that and say thanks for watching and thanks for all the comments and support.